Farm equipment is big, like really big. And because the equipment is so massive in size and horsepower, farmers must take safe steps when operating machinery to protect themselves and others on the farm. Farmers use a variety of equipment every day. Depending on the job, the equipment being used changes by the day, season, and task at hand. Some examples of farm equipment include tractors, ATVs and UTVs, skid loaders, augers, PTO shafts, pivots, and more. Different safety measures may be needed depending on the equipment being used. When we're on the farm, it's really important that the kids know how to be safe on the farm. And I don't like to send the kids out with adults that aren't focused on the kids, you know. The farmers always have so much going on, so I think it's important to have another adult present to make sure that the kids can be safe. In order to keep them safe on the farm, I think it's important to tell them to always make sure an adult knows where you are, to always make sure that they've been given the okay to get out of the truck or get out of the tractor and that somebody's there to kind of help them through that and they don't just take off wandering on their own. Especially when you see equipment that's running or something that's turned on, that we only look, we don't touch, we keep our distance um, and just make sure that that you don't put yourself in a situation where a piece of clothing could get caught or you're too close to a machine and, and that could hurt you. So it's important to make sure that they know to stay back. It's okay to look, but we don't wanna be touching things or, or reaching into something that, that's moving. One of the most dangerous pieces of equipment on the farm is an auger. They're vital to any operation, but unfortunately, they are the leading cause of farm accidents. An auger conveyor is used to transport grain or other materials by feeding it through a tube with a rotating screw blade. Augers can stand alone near a bin site to transport grain from the ground to the top of the bin. Sweep augers are located inside of bins to help empty the bin, and augers are also an important part of how combines and grain carts transfer grain. At the cooperative, tender trucks use augers to transport dry fertilizer to customers. In order to meet the producer's needs of speed and space, we have to have this large equipment, these large augers, these large conveyors, these large grain elevator legs, in order to move this grain and commodities in a fast and safe and efficient manner. Grain augers are very vital to the success of the cooperative, but can be very dangerous if not operated correctly. So how can you stay safe around an auger? The first step is to make sure all safety shields are in place. Then, while operating the auger, prevent clogs by keeping foreign materials out and not overwhelming the auger with too much grain. When getting ready to use an auger, don't wear loose clothing. It can get caught in many obstacles on that auger, specifically the power takeoff device. And if you're wearing loose clothing or get your hand or leg caught in that shaft, it can, you can get caught in there and sucked into that shaft and bad things happen. All this equipment can be very dangerous Please, please be very careful around it. When a farmer is operating large machinery like tractors, combines, or sprayers, they must always exercise equipment safety. With equipment being so large, it is extra important that a farmer takes the time to look at their surroundings before operating any machine. They must look out for electrical lines, people and animals, changes in terrain, weather, and other equipment or vehicles. Power lines are around us every day, but we tend to forget about them because we drive by them every day. They've been there all of our lives. So it's much like a tree out there that we drive by. We don't even think to look at it. So when you're outside and out in a rural area, especially around where our lines are running, you need to always be aware of your surroundings. Watch out for anything that looks unusual. Watch out for any low hanging wires, anything you see going to a building that doesn't look right. You need to contact an adult, contact your local utility, let them know what's going on so that they can come out, take a look at it, fix it for you, and keep you from getting hurt. When you're the one riding in the grain cart or in the tractor or combine, uh, you can be the one out there looking. You can be pointing these things out to your parents, your uh, friends. One of the things that we really need to remember is that almost anything can conduct electricity in the right environment, in the right situation. Even our rubber gloves, our fiberglass sticks, our bucket trucks have to be cleaned and tested on a regular basis to be considered safe. Practicing equipment safety is an important role for the farmer, but to keep people who visit or work on the farm safe, the farmer should also talk about these safety steps with others. 
Communication is a key part of staying safe. My kids have seen firsthand how accidents can happen so quickly. So I had the kids out here on the farm for harvest to ride along. And after we were done eating dinner in the field, um, my brother asked my oldest son if he wanted to go for a ride in the tractor. So they hopped in and they were just gonna dump the grain cart onto the truck that was waiting. So they pulled straight forward and happened to hit a power line with the auger as it was going out of the grain cart and the power line fell on top of the tractor with the two of them inside. Luckily, there were five or six adults standing right there that could motion to them to stay in the cab of the tractor. The local fire department responded right away and EMS and the sheriff's office, and I'll never forget when the bucket truck came down. That was kind of the best sight I've ever seen in my life, just knowing that they were gonna be able to, to get everything de-energized and get them out safely. So I think the great thing about when the accident happened, the adults that were there knew what to do because they had prior knowledge. Their instincts were able to kick in because they were educated beforehand and they knew um, what to do to stay safe in that situation. And so educating yourself before an accident happens is really important so that when something unexpected comes up, you're gonna know what to do without having to think about it. If telling my story can help, somebody else avoid the same situation, I mean, that makes it all worth it. Our family and our loved ones are the most important things to us. And, and if a piece of machinery breaks, we can get another one, but we are irreplaceable. My kids are irreplaceable. So it's really important to me to make sure that I can do everything possible to, to keep somebody else from having an accident. By learning about dangers on the farm and following simple steps to prevent accidents, a farmer can maintain a safe environment for themselves, their farm help, and their family. Thanks for learning with Growing Agriculture Together. Find more resources at growingagriculturetogether.com.